Hey YouTube, so today I'm coming to you with a video, um, a hair video, just about um, a shampoo and conditioner that I've been using for about a month. I take you through the process, talk about what I like about it, and eventually we get to this. So if you want to see more, then keep watching. And as always, welcome to Nita's World. All right, YouTube. I just washed my hair, washed it, um, and I just wanted to brag and rant and rave about a shampoo and conditioner that I have been using for a couple of weeks now that I am totally and completely in love with, and that is the oh, there it is, Bio Lace Exquisite Oil by Matrix. This is the micro oil shampoo, and as you can see, it enhances and I can't read backwards, and replenishes all hair types. The back says that the exquisite oil bio lace micro oil shampoo cleanses as it nourishes with a lightweight micro oil blend formula with morgana, macadamia, coconut, and almond to help replenish hair, leaving it shiny and healthy looking. This shampoo is amazing, and I'm sorry, it seems that they decided to come close to my house doing yard work. Mm. Anyway, so excuse it if you hear it, it should pass quickly. But this um, bottle is 33.8 fluid ounces. It's gigantic. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff. Like, it's so rich. That when you wash your hair with it, you'll have suds for days if you um, if you use too much. Like, I use, like, a drop of this stuff. And just maybe if you can see the consistency. I don't want to put this on my hand. But there, you uh, see that? All right. It smells really good. It really does have, like, a coconut, almond type of a smell to it. It's very pleasing. The second half to this wonderful duo is going to be the oil cream conditioner. And no, just in case you are wondering, will your hair feel oily? No, I don't feel oil, but I get the benefits of this product having oil in it. Like I can tell the difference. Um, with this one, this is also 33.8 fluid ounces. And this says the bio, no, excuse me, the exquisite oil by bio lace oil cream conditioner with morgana macadamia orange peel oils and sage and extract and sage extract excuse me helps restore shine manageability and control as it detangles with intense yet weightless conditioning this stuff is so super thick but it's so like when i squeeze it you see how we haven't used this this much, but it's so thick. It's like you got to really squeeze the bottle to get that. I don't know. Can you try to make it focus? Get the conditioner out. Anyway, like it's a it's a nice thick consistency. I'm going to put this back in the bottle because I don't need this just now. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and blow dry my hair. And then I'll be back. Alright YouTube. So as you can see the hair is dry. And you know you still see some shine. And it is very manageable. And it just feels so soft and nice. Like that's the first thing that I noticed about this shampoo and conditioner set. Is that. It just leaves your hair feeling really soft and really nice for a long period of time. But you won't know that unless you go and get you some Bio Lace Exquisite Oil, like I did. So anyway, I'm going to flat iron now, and then I will be back. All right, so we're back. I flat ironed my hair. I used this, it's a little old, Vidal Sassoon 
flat iron. Um, it doesn't really have a temperature gauge on the side. It's just like a little dial that you kind of roll. Mm, there you go. So it tells you that it's like 25 is the highest it goes, but you don't know what temperature it is. I really don't recommend this uh, flat iron only because it put the plates in it pull your hair and like you can see I have a lot of breakage not saying that all of this is because of the flat iron because I bleached my hair and I know I didn't do it the right way like I let it sit on there forever and I shouldn't have done that so I have breakage for a variety of reasons but I do have other flat irons that I just didn't feel like getting that um they have a titanium coating and they don't really cause my hair to snap but with this one I can hear it sometimes just pulling or breaking so I don't recommend it but um, I wanted to come without any styling or anything, just the flat iron so that you could see it. Very manageable. I didn't put any oil, nothing. And you can see it has good shine to it. So next I will do some styling and I will be back. Alright. Peace. Alright YouTube. So here's the finished product. As you can see, sent me a few extensions. Only took the, took a few minutes to get these extensions in. I probably could do a little better blending. It looks good, like from the angle that I look at in a mirror. But the slant that I have going on here, I don't know. I can see more pieces that need to be blended than I could in like the regular mirror in my bathroom. I guess because like my camera's like at an angle but anyway you get the picture um what did I use for extensions I used these clip-in extensions that I made myself and my hair you know slides in there and I clamp it closed and it's in my head um if you want to see a video about how I made my clip-in extensions how I like them what I feel about them then just leave a comment and I'll be happy to do that for you. But anyway, good finished result. Hair still nice and soft and silky. I love it. I hope you do too. Talk to you later.